She did. Were they checking this uh, at the hospital? No. No, they weren't checking it. <laughs> Hi, Corky, how are you? I'm fine. Okay. Now, you were at the hospital, right? And then this is what happened at the heel? Yeah. When did you get out of the hospital? 9-11. Uh, well, 9-11 <laughs> sounds, sounds serious. <laughs> so, it was from 9-1 to 9-11, 10 days. Oh, is that right? And yeah. then now you, you had this... I was experiencing severe pain uh -huh. in my back. You know, I used to have to get the pillow and everything uh-huh that was all shingles oh is that right oh wow shingles are painful huh? evidently is that worse than uh, childbirth what worth worse than childbirth about the same yes that bad huh so they put you on a lot it of medication unending 24 7 and i couldn't get any sleep oh really yeah where did you where did you have it? Where was it? In my back. In your back, huh? Wow. Yeah, that's why I used to have to bring a pillow and you know, put pressure on it to stop it from hurting here. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, you may have an ulcer here because you were in bed, right? Yeah. This is a what we call a bed sore because this is rubbing this area and you don't have a really good circulation, so. You created this little sore here. Obviously, we don't want any trouble with you because of this. We don't ulcer. want it to get any worse. Right, we don't want any infection. Or Looks like you have a lot of blood here. Like, um, so we're, we're trying to clean this all out and take a, taking a look at it, okay? And you said you have a, like a foot crater, right? Something to put on the foot? To cushion this area? Uh, no. You don't have any crater? It's called a foot crater. It looks like, um, you know, those egg, egg crates, you know, the eggs. It looks like that, but it's foam. And what that does is that it takes the pressure off this area while you're sleeping or lying down. Actually, they, were they checking this uh, at the hospital? No. No, they weren't checking it. When, they, they, when I mentioned that it hurt, then they put those big old black boogies on me. Oh, they did? Okay. And put and my feet up on pillows. Oh, really? They didn't clean PFD, up? PFD, right? Uh-huh. But they didn't clean up like this? They need to be oh, cleaning no. this up. Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> so I'm just cleaning all this out, making sure there's no hole in there, okay? Sometimes there's a hole that we need to treat that. Okay. So I'm just getting all of this... So what kind of medication did they put you on? I have no idea. <laughs> Some... They tried to put me on Lipitor and I refused it. Oh, really? I'm allergic to it. It affects my muscles. Oh, is that right? The last time I was on it, four, five, eight years ago, I got so I couldn't raise my arms above my head to comb my hair. Oh, is that right? So I stopped that, took about six months to get the muscles back to where I could move my arms right. Oh. You're so I don't take that stuff anymore. Yeah. Is it, your cholesterol was high? What? Your cholesterol was high? No. Then why do they want to put you on the Lipitor? That's a cholesterol medicine. I don't know. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I've got so much wrong with me that... <laughs> I lost count years really? ago. So they just said, okay, let me, let's just try Lipitor or something. You know, Lipitor can cause a lot of muscle aches and pain. Because, oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you have a lot of uh, joint it pain. It wasn't until I saw something in the newspaper that I informed my doctor, and he took me off of it right away then. Uh-huh. Yeah, you have to be careful taking Levitar. So you took it before and then you had a reaction to it? Yeah. Uh-huh, what happened? You just couldn't do anything, huh? My Come on, it knocked you arms out. got so sore I couldn't raise them up to comb, brush my hair. 
Is that right? Oh, I wow. couldn't pick it up to my head. No, that's a that's a big problem. If you can't brush your hair, that's yeah. that 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 cramps your style, right? Well, it, it's uncomfortable, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I like your spirit. That's good. And then when um, then how how you been doing it at home now since um. When did you notice this thing right here in the back of the heel? Uh, they noticed it at the hospital, right? Well, yeah. Okay, and then? And it felt like a, I was walking on marbles or... Uh-huh, you felt like something. And I couldn't see it. Yeah. Cause, yeah, I, all I could do is feel it uh-huh it's pretty deep actually you got a scab here okay and we're trying to clean it clean the edges off because i don't want to take too much because that's going to be too much for you to heal i'm just getting the edges right now okay. and then i'm going to slowly divide more so that this will close up okay that's that's my goal i don't want to do too much because i don't want to Take the whole scab off because that that's that can be pretty deep right here okay so i'm gonna get the edges up i'll do some more next time and then it's gonna close down from the edges okay so you you're bleeding well down here though that's good right so now it's pretty clean all around the edges as you can see and then I'm going to have you soak it and then get this cleaned up, give you medicine on top of that. And then have you use this cradle to take pressure off this area while you're in bed and sleeping and whatnot. Okay, and then I'm going to clean out a little bit more, a little bit more, and then it's going to get smaller. So, okay, Corky, you got that? Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure I heard all of it. Okay, okay, so don't worry, we're going to make it better. We're going to do a little bit at a time. I don't want to take this whole thing off because that's going to be a lot of bleeding and a lot of healing. So I'm going to get the edges off. It's going to get smaller. I'm going to do a little bit more next week. Okay. 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 Very good.